Hey there homesteaders! Today I'm sharing with you my mealworm farm, what I learned about their life cycle, and if you stay to the very end, I'll also tell you what went wrong. Hey there homesteaders! Today I'm sharing with you my attempt to raise mealworms and what I've learned about their life cycle. Here's a quick peek at the cycle starting with my mealworm purchase in dark blue on August 26th. And this is day one. I brought home the mealworms and dumped them into a tray of organic oats and carrots. Everything you see here came to under $35. That's the two sets of three trays, the oats, the carrots, and the mealworms. I could have started with less money if I bought only the mealworms and used an old bin instead. That would have come to about $10. We got our first pupa around day eight. You can see that on the right side of the slide, that there's a pupa, kind of whitish in color, mixed in with the oats and the mealworms. In the center, you can see there's a bowl of pupae and beetles that are emerging. That's around day 21. The pupae don't eat or drink, but they will wiggle if you touch them. I put them in a bowl to keep them safe from cannibalism by the mealworms that were left. But in retrospect, I should have just put the, all of the pupae in a fresh tray. When the beetles first emerge, they're almost white, but fairly quickly they turn brown and then black. The name darkling beetle isn't about the change in color, but it refers to their preference for dark places. They also need things to crawl on and under. I've used old egg cartons and toilet paper rolls. Here you can see the difference between worm sizes from an earlier and a later tray. Those are the small worms, on the right hand side and the slightly larger worms on the left hand side. What I think is so cool is that one of the originally purchased mealworms never pupated. It's still roaming around the tray. I've put an arrow to that mealworm. Also you can see that the worm on October the 15th is super tiny. It's, it's smaller than the little tiny flakes of oats that are left. So we're at day 146. That's almost five months. When do you think those worms will be ready to go to the chickens? If you have an idea, put a comment below. Or if you've raised mealworms, what was the complete life cycle timing for your mealworms? Thanks for staying to the very end. So you want to know what went wrong? I have pantry moths that have found the oat bran and wheat bran that I'm using to feed the beetles and the mealworms, and they are breeding and they're just getting into everything. It's so disgusting to see moths flying around. And the other day I looked at my ceiling and there was a moth larva crawling across the ceiling. So it's super gross, uh, something I'm trying to figure out how to deal with. If you have any ideas, please let me know. Thanks. So today is the day that I'm posting this video and I just found our very first pupa. So this has been the entire life cycle, uh, which, comes to the end today. So this is awesome. This is our first pupa out of this batch. You can see it here. Um, probably not so easily against my hand, uh, but I can't believe that today is the day that we find our first pupa. So very exciting. I think that brings it to um, around 100 and 150 days or just under 150 days for the complete life cycle. So very exciting. 